Hello fans, collectors, and investors. Welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I am Iconic Al, and today's episode is kind of an impromptu episode and a bit somber. I wanted to respond to the recent positive PED test for Fernando Tatis Jr. and what that means to his long-term legacy. It's hard to say what it means to his long-term legacy because he's only 23 years old and he has time to recover, I believe, from, from something like this. He's fighting an uphill battle. He has a number of different concerns around him as a player, uh, one being his chronic shoulder instability, another being his inability to stay healthy uh, with freak injuries at this point. And the third now, a positive PED test, which does paint his legacy. As I was looking at my one Fernando Tatis Jr. card today, I turned it over and read the back and I had a revelation, which I'll go into as I turn the camera around after I'm done with this intro. Now, if there's one good thing that you can take away from this, maybe broadly, if there was one guy that Major League Baseball did not want testing positive for PEDs, it was Fernando Tatis Jr. He's been marketed as the face of baseball. He's the golden boy, or was. And maybe it can give us that much more confidence that they are testing and they are holding players accountable that are testing positive. And so the credibility of the game, in my mind, maybe took, took a leap forward after this positive test. Uh, that's the only positive thing that I can really gain. But um, it'll be interesting to see how Tatis is able to repair his legacy, uh, his reputation, and grow from this experience, hopefully. Anyway, I'm rooting for him, and, uh, and I hope he can come back strong at some point next year. Now let's turn the camera around and take a look at my one Tatis card. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. And what a difference a day makes. <laughs> Over the past 24 hours, a lot of Fernando Tatis Jr. slabs have become... <sighs> coasters. What to do <laughs> with this? This is my one Tatis card. I'm not big on prospects. I collect the top 100 players of all time, primarily. Once in a while, due to a special talent, a special personality, I'll take a flyer on a guy like Fernando Tatis, a Juan Soto, a Ronald Acuna, because what happens with these players with this type of talent, although four out of five of them will not <laughs> turn into their potentials, one out of five of them will. Guys at that level. What most of them turn into is this. Todd Van Poppel. Which is why I don't overinvest in prospects and players under the age of 25. Now, doing this for 30 years, you see trends and you see patterns. Which is why my collection is what it is. I mean, it, I've evolved to not collect young players or really many active players. We see what happens with Trevor Bauer, with Tatis, with guys like Todd Van Poppel, who just flat out do not perform up to the expectation. And the long-term collectability isn't there for whatever reason. In the case of Tatis, it's an open question. I have no plans on selling this card because he is so young and so talented and he has a special personality. And this is not a high value card, probably something that I picked up for $150 a couple of years ago and I could sell it for $100 now, probably, but why? I like the card. It's his first card pictured as a Padre, 2017 Bowman Draft with a nice Beckett 10 autograph on it. So I like it. It's not something that I'm, you know, 
in a big hurry to sell. I'm in it for the long term and I, I am honestly interested to see what the next 10, 15 years holds for Tatsis. He has a special skill set of power and speed. My feeling is he won't stick at shortstop long term, but he probably finds his, his place in the outfield somewhere, which again does diminish his value to some degree in the collecting market. But I think he, um, I think he will have a successful career even after all this blows over because he is that special in terms of his personality, his flair, his talent, and his five tool ability. Now, when I was looking at this card, I found something interesting, a revelation, if you will, on the back of the card. As I like to do sometimes, I was reading the fun facts on the back of the card where they sort of just point out things about each player. Okay. He avoids soft drinks during the season. Interesting. Okay. He FaceTimes with his mother nearly every night. Oh, that's nice. Uh, likes to dance. Cool. But then there was this fact. Lives next door to Robinson Cano in winters. That, that was interesting. And to me, it was a bit of a revelation <laughs> in the context of what we've learned in the last 24 hours. Robinson Cano tested positive for PEDs in 2018. This card came out in 2017. I read deeper into the relationship between Tatis and Cano, and apparently Tatis considers Cano to be a, a godfather of sorts and a mentor figure to him, which is interesting. Cano came over to play for the Padres briefly earlier this season, so presumably spent quite a bit of time in the clubhouse around Tatis. I mean, they grew up in the same town, San Pedro, in the Dominican Republic, so they shared a bond. I'm not sure if this bond contributed to Tatis getting into PEDs, but it's interesting. I'll just say that. And it almost makes me like this card even more because on the back of the card, it's printed. That connection between Cano and Tatis. Now, this might already be well documented and people have maybe already been talking about this, but I thought it was really interesting to have it on the back of that card now that we have a positive test from Tatis. Anyway, to those of you that have heavily invested in Tatis, I'm sorry at this point, you're probably better off just hanging on, riding out the storm and seeing what kind of legacy he can build. Because he does have the tools to be special. It, it depends on how he grows from here and how he, he evolves and what kind of image that he's able to rebuild for himself. All right, so until next time, keep collecting and stay iconic.